See the smile behind my mask. How long will it last? Stimlet's going fast. Government um, won't no, act. How long? This is Scott, your soulful progressive. Will this FNN, Feminist News Network, that Feminist News. That's right for you. Welcome to Sky in the Abba Pooey Room, giving you that soulful news you need every time. Yes, indeed. And if nobody's told you to like and subscribe, well, baby, you better tell them that Sky's got it every time. I know that's right. This is Hawaii's only ADOS news reporter. And in hope, and in Women's Month, this month, what is it I want to talk about? What is going on? In Women's Month this month, what is going on? What is it I want to talk to you about today? The DOJ done said that Louisville Police Department is totally racist, biased, and no good. Mm -mm -mm. Now, the best film I got is from De Democracy Now! because they are talking to Miss Reynolds, an advocate, and telling what's going on. Let's hear a little bit of what Mayor Garland said. Then Miss Reynolds, and we're going to discuss. I know that's right. Finds that LMPD mm -hmm. uses excessive force, including unjustified neck restraints and the unreasonable use of police dogs and tasers conducts searches based on invalid warrants, unlawfully executes warrants without knocking and announcing, unlawfully stops, searches, detains, and arrests people, unlawfully discriminates against black people in enforcement activities, violates the rights of people engaged in protected speech, critical of policing, and along with Louisville Metro, discriminates against people with behavioral health disabilities when responding to them in crisis. The Justice Department has also identified deficiencies in LMPD's response to and investigation of domestic violence and sexual assault. LMPD has relied heavily on pretextual traffic stops in black neighborhoods. In these stops, Officers use the pretense of making a stop for minor traffic offense in order to investigate for other crimes. Some officers have demonstrated disrespect for the people they are sworn to protect. Some have via videotaped themselves throwing drinks at pedestrians from their cars, insulted people with disabilities, and called black people monkeys, animal, and boy. Officers also routinely conduct stops, searches, and arrests without the required constitutional justification. These tools are essential to enhance public safety, but when used without restraint, they turn into weapons of oppression, submission, and fear. We found that LMPD officers use excessive and dangerous tactics such as neck restraints, canines and tasers, even against people who pose no imminent threat to the officer or others. We also found that officers misdirect their resources and violate fundamental principles of equal justice by selectively targeting and disproportionately subjecting black residents to unlawful policing. We are encouraged by the Department of Justice findings today. However, it is unfortunate that it took the murder of Breonna Taylor in protest after protest after protest through 2020 to come to this point. As you saw, this is a patterns and practice investigation, and the findings relate to patterns and want to focus on the fact that this is patterns and practice. This is not one-offs. This is the way they do business. Unlawfully executing search warrants, unlawfully stopping, searching, detaining, unlawfully discriminating against Black people specifically. I think that is a really scathing indictment on this police department. Their conduct is illegal, and Black people are disproportionately experiencing the illegal activity in Louisville. 
Did you hear that? Did you see that? I know that's right, and she's telling it like it is. Because when you get down to it, there, Louisville police is suing, one of the cops is suing Kenny, that was the guy that shot at the door when they broke in unannounced, even though he called 911 when they were trying to break in. Now, this ain't right, and them to follow by these measures that are given to them to acquiesce to that, it's going to be a hard road for these. Um, it's going to be a hard road for these slave patrols to get in line. Now, what needs to happen with this force, it needs to be gutted. They all need to go, just like Memphis and just like Detroit and just like Chicago that needs to get rid of their prison black site. All of this needs to be abolished and restarted and rethought out with community policing where everybody in the community knows each other because they're watching each other's back. And if you support the communities, that's that. Now, when I raised up, you knew the little boy down the street, his mama and everybody else. And now you put it where there's nothing but fear. You got people that are coming into the community that don't understand it, don't know it, don't care about it, make fun of it. And the people that are in it. You don't need those people in that community. And they do the same thing here in Hawaii. They're bringing in out-of-town cops, and they don't know how to treat them. They don't know how to act. Everything's serious. And then you got local cops that are racist against Micronesians, certain other races that are here, you know, quick to shoot. And those cops are still on the force. And if there's 12 cops that have shot and killed and still on the force in Hawaii, it's 5 to 10 to 20 times more in a place like Louisville. This is a culture, and the culture must end. No clear way than to say it like that. And if you agree, leave your comments below and let me know at Feminist News in at gmail.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and the Facebook page. And remember, I'm that soulful progressive. One on Twitter got that rant of the day on blogging. And I am that soulful progressive that you can get a hold of on Patreon, but I'm not really there. I need to put more videos up on it. But if you care to get me a cup of coffee, that's Venmo at Sky. SoulfulProgressive.com Now, you got to remember, in this era of hate, you're going to have to participate so we can abolish and create a better policing system in this United States. Because, yes, it is apartheid. Peace. No peace, no justice.